Hey Leo, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ana Eilina. Y'all had love messages come out today, so that's where we're going to go with your reading, all right? I pray these messages find you well, Leo. Let's go ahead and tap in. We're going to get your guiding cards out, and then we will tap right into whatever message is meant to come out for you today. Okay, I'm going to get one quick general message, though, and then we'll go into the two energy pool. I'll try to timestamp it below if you guys want to skip around. I don't mind, okay? Thank you. Okay, I felt like spirit communicated directly with that card flipping up. <laughs> all right. You have doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. I heard in the dark. Some of you could be in the dark about a person that you're dealing with or used to deal with. Okay. Um, time is pretty fluid. So past, present, future, you know. Clarify. Thank you. We are hard with tell the truth. Do you doubt someone's telling you the truth? Do you doubt... That someone is being honest okay and some of you have surrendered you know uh, i don't know the need to worry about it because what i'm hearing is what's done in the dark will come to the light right it's one of my grandmother's favorite saying and that's the truth okay we have the number 34 or 7 with ocean's muse mm -hmm. your intuition is talking to you yeah water's wisdom intuition Hermit's light and discovery. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you have like, uh, I don't know, you could have one of like your big three. Well, obviously not, obviously not your son, right? If you're Leo's son. But you could have um, like a moon or something is what I'm sensing in a water sign like Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. All right, let's get your um, little short message. Okay. Anything can come up in this message, and that's why I like to do it. Sometimes spirit just like to get you a little, you know, a little message about your love life, something you might need to know, something, you know, a point of healing or whatever. Okay, spirit, what would that be for Leo today? Some of y'all might be having like chest pain, heartburn, and in, in, indigestion. Why am I hearing that? feeling that though might be gassy y'all <laughs> okay seven of pentacles in reverse here the death card some of y'all dealing with the scorpio it says scorpio energy i was talking about wow and the fool with aries wow and the moon on the bottom of the deck all this water okay <sighs> some of you dealing with a pisces a cancer scorpio or aries once again Okay. Gemini just came out here with the lovers. Now, there are three lovers cards in this deck, okay? One has three people on it. That's this one. The one, the other lovers is right behind it, okay? This one has two people. The other one has two people as well. So, that's two two lovers cards in your, in your spread already. Okay. I do feel like you feel like somebody's lying. You feel it. Tell me about the seven of pentacles in reverse, please. And I don't know if you doubting yourself or you know what I'm saying? Trying to convince yourself you're not feeling what you're feeling. Yeah. The Knight of Pentacles here. The Hangman and the Ace of Wands. Or for some of you, is it's, it's really that saying of like, you know what? I'm not even going to stress about this. If this person is lying, it's going to come out without me having to be a fucking private investigator. All right, yeah, the death card and the king of pentacles, exactly. I, I really do feel like you're standing on that, yeah. The devil card and the star, it's like, uh, some of you could deal with the Capricorn or Aquarius. It's like, um, I don't know, You this is this feels like wisdom, Leo, like you, you know, recognizing maybe you've been there, done that, you know, going through somebody's phone, chasing somebody, asking somebody a million questions over and over. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know what happened to my music. Yeah, and the Queen of Wands here. Yeah, you've been here with this person. The Emperor, the Page of Swords. You told them, you know, you wanted them to step up. Be this, do that. You know, it's, yeah, it's too much. Yeah, the Magician in the Eight of Pentacles. I'm hearing, like, Build-A-Bear, Build-A-Bear. You know, you feel like you're having to tell somebody too much having to tell a grown person too much let me be done with the gemini or virgo <clears throat> clarify the fool 
something's a new journey though the fool is most definitely coming up in your future that's aries that's the north node that's where we had the eclipse so that's very important let's see what that is the star oh my god the six of wands that's your energy and the hermit card what went on in the dark is gonna come out in the light period 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 like and it's gonna be put on full blast some of you this could be about a pregnancy please give me one to clarify that and that's two major arcanas in the near future yeah so it's game changing What is that for Leo? Please, my God. I'm clarify. Thank you. <laughs> exactly. The Eight of Swords. And when it comes out, yeah. Queen of Cups, the Six of Wands. It's like there's no denying it, which is why I feel like you are feeling this intuitive sense of like, I ain't go I'm not going to dig. I'm, I'm going to let this come out because it will. <laughs> excuse me and when it does it's going to be uh irrefutable is what spirit is saying this person won't be able to excuse me lie themselves out of it or you know yeah or you know or get into your head yeah queen of cups and the will of fortune you, you don't need to do anything to receive this truth i would not go into pi mode and all of that nope it's gonna come out what's the guidance here and then we're gonna close this and pull um the two energies thank you the empress period the empress is like the perfect guidance for this she does not chase everything comes to her everything comes to her okay and the page of pentacles here it's like if this shit just gonna fall in your lap yeah the six of cups something from the past that you surrender in your empress energy okay whether you're male or female okay you surrendered it you let the universe bring the truth to you okay or highlight the truth or give you an aha moment and for whatever reason it's better this way leo maybe that it puts you in better energy okay because again i feel like in the past maybe you did indulge or something like that yeah, I'm here and I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. So, I don't know. You know, maybe that could have been your energy in the past. Yeah, but look, I cut the deck. Temperance. You feel that the Ace of Wands here, like you go about things differently, period. So, kudos to you. That's what's up. Growth is beautiful, for real. Because it's not easy. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it shows, like, you care about yourself that you put in that effort. So, look, as I'm saying that, it's not easy. Ten of Wands, but the star is there anyway. But you did it anyway, so pat yourself on the back all right let's pull these two energies i'm gonna pull yours use discernment to see who this other energy is it could be who we just talked about or who knows okay all right my son's uh, playing with his toys guys and behind me okay so you come out as the lovers again you could be dealing with the gemini we also have the five of swords here so yeah you knew somebody was lying period why is all these liars coming out in the six of cups again you felt it you knew you knew i'm so i'm very proud of you not that you need me to be proud of you like who am i to you but that's what's up okay who are we connecting to the liar themselves <laughs> oh my god because the seven of swords is out here y'all the liar themselves it could be an aquarius and justice yo this is something they always do okay because the south node is in in libra justice is uh is libra energy in the tarot okay and the king of wands here Whew. lord have mercy how's this energy feel about leo the king of pentacles <laughs> the queen of pentacles in the ace of cups you got standard standards they see you not sweating you haven't budged you haven't lifted a finger you ain't cursed them out send them a million text messages it's scaring them it's scaring them <laughs> it's scaring somebody 
They are, they have, listen, okay, this is how they're looking at you. King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, you're not budging, okay? They are, I'm literally seeing somebody like, um, they're shook, right? Because somebody's like, damn, why, I haven't, they haven't to ask me, you know? They didn't ask me if I lied or they haven't questioned me again. Or you know how you try to question somebody twice, see if they're going to give you a different answer. None of that, none of that. This person's like. It's empty. It is, you know, woo. That's four swords in the death card. You're done doing that. You're done doing that. Hmm. Baby, you communicate so much more maturely now that it scares them, right? Instead, like they're expecting you to go back and forth with them and you're just like, okay, sure. That's what you say. Awesome. Like, it's just, <laughs> okay. How do you feel about this person? <laughs> you're just like hmm, sure okay awesome you're in it it's so genuine but you know thank you the three of wands creeping that's what i heard page of wands and the emperor you feel like they've been still communicating i don't know why i said still i don't know maybe it's a past thing that y'all dealt with before but you feel like they be communicating with people like long distance or you know or may, I don't know if this person travels a lot. Yeah, the hangman here and the chariot. Uh huh. Can be dealing with the Pisces, a Cancerian. Okay, a Taurus here as well. Um, they could be. You feel like this person could be talking with like two tongues, like telling you one thing and then like going about and telling somebody else another thing. Now, the thing that I get with this Leo is like this is somebody who this is oh God, this is somebody who like will have a completely like serious relationship with you and then it feels like they could also have a completely serious relationship with somebody else right like or be under the guise that it's serious i don't know how serious it could be right? or how invested they could be in both places but okay what does this person want with uh, leo okay the four of wands came out kind of weird let me clarify that kind of sideways Okay. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles here. <laughs> the Six of Cups and Nine of Wands. Does this person need a place to stay? Alright, because I'm seeing somebody like very full of shame. Full of shame. Like I'm seeing somebody, their head is hung, honey. Like it's down. Shoulders hunched. Like, okay. They could be very much ashamed to ask you, like, if they could stay with you or something like that. Especially because you haven't blown up on them, you know, it's like, again, whoo, playing your cards right, <laughs> no pun. <laughs> All right, we got the high priestess here. They know you know. The sun in the tower, like, they know you know. Wowzers. What, 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 what is this concerning? What is this about? What is this lie about, man? The sun. The five of pentacles and temperance it could be um them saying they broke up with somebody or that they don't deal with somebody anymore but they still do okay some of you could be dealing with the sagittarius here yep because i'm hearing um the boy is mine okay yep the gate they still going to somebody's house or something like that yeah seven of wands and the emperor here seven of wands is leo energy This could be the type of person who likes to have like different people, quote unquote, fighting over them or, you know, feeling like people are fighting over them. Okay, what do you want from this person? The two of wands, straight up partnership, death card, the queen of cups. Yeah, they can't keep on doing the same old stuff when it comes to you. Okay, what is this person plan to do? All right, future intentions here with Leo. Ace of Wands could be another fire sign. Leo Aries says, Knight of Pentacles, though, takes them a while to get there. Page of Cups, do they get there? I did pull on intentions. They intend to start something new with you or get the flame going again. The Chariot, they intend to move things forward. Okay. This could be around summertime. The Chariot, that's Cancer. And then you have the Ace of Wands here, you know, like spring, summer. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles. 
and the five of pentacles why, why do they do this what's the action that this person is taking something flipped over that was the two of swords the eight of wands and the hierophant they ask you a question or something they communicate with a question Do they get any more information on that with the two of swords? Does Leo get any more information? Thank you. <laughs> the ace of swords, the three of pentacles, and the hermit. Eventually, they're going to come and try to, like, clear, you know, try to talk about this. Um, I think, yeah, they would love if you, like, reached out first. They would love if you maybe, like, went off on them or something like that. Because then it would, like, I don't know, make something to them, to them, it would make something more justifiable. Or them, you know, being avoidant, it would, to them, it would justify that if you were going off on them. You know, they could be like, well, I needed you to calm down and all this, you know. So, I think this is really throwing this person for a loop. All right, anything else that Leo needs to know? Yeah, the Eight of Wands, so that's communication. The Queen of Wands here and the Ten of Wands. I do feel like this person could be asking for help. All right, what's the guidance for Leo? What's the guidance here for Leo? Wow, you got the Ace of Cups. You have the King of Swords and you have the Knight of Wands. Mm. Keep moving how you move. Don't give them what they're looking for. Okay? Keep playing your cards how you playing your cards. Ace of Cups here. The moon, you already know. Yeah, the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles. This truth will continue to reveal itself to you. Stay in this vibration. All right? That's what I have for you, Leo. I appreciate you. I pray these messages find you well. All the information to book a reading with me is in the description box. Please feel free to email me beforehand if you have any questions. I really don't mind. And please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with some more of your Leo friends. All right? I appreciate you, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.